Hey everyone, it's your American F1 Journal here, and this is your British Grand Prix Rundown. Well, of course, let's start with Lewis Hamilton, who had a crazy day at the office after suffering a tire puncture on the final lap of the British Grand Prix. The six-time world champion had to nurse his Mercedes on three wheels to cross the line and take his seventh British Grand Prix victory and his 87th of his career. He now sits only four wins away from Michael Schumacher's all-time record of 91. As for his teammate Valtteri Bottas, his car suffered the same fate just before Lewis Hamilton. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to nurse his car across the line and he was forced to pit, leaving him to finish 11th. He now sits 30 points behind Lewis Hamilton in the Drivers' Championship. Now, Bottas' misfortune allowed Red Bull's Max Verstappen to take second place and his 34th career podium. This also allowed Ferrari's Charles Leclerc to take his 12th career podium in third. Finishing out the remaining points paying positions, fourth place went to Daniel Ricciardo for Renault, while Lando Norris took fifth place for McLaren after his teammate Carlos Sainz suffered a tire puncture as well, leaving him to finish 13th. Esteban Ocon took 6th place in the 2nd Renault, while 7th went to Pierre Gasly from AlphaTauri. Now his teammate Danny Kafiat took a nasty trip into the barrier after he lost the rear of his car at turn 10 but walked away with no injuries. Alex Albon finished 8th who had a great recovery drive after receiving a 5 second time penalty for his collision with Kevin Magnussen from Haas earlier in the race. And ninth place went to Lance Stroll from Racing Point. His teammate Nico Hulkenberg, who had came in this weekend to replace Sergio Perez, who had tested positive for COVID-19 early in the week, didn't even get a chance to start the race as his car encountered a power unit issue and was forced to retire. And the 10th and final points paying position goes to Sebastian Vettel in the second Ferrari as the struggle continues for the four-time world champion. Well, that's going to do it for the rundown. As always, my friends, be safe, wear a mask, and I'll see you when the lights go out.